There are few things in this life that are strictly black and white. Most issues float somewhere in the middle of a vast sea of gray, open to a myriad conflicting interpretations. But I am here to tell you that there are things such as absolute truths, undeniable facts that rise from the wishy-washy sea of opinions and stand resolutely like Venus in a clamshell for all to see. I am talking about incontrovertible principles that are impossible to deny, of which I will now list five. One, the sun will rise and the sun will set. Two, all who were born will one day die. Three, Justin Timberlake's solo is infinitely superior to anything he did with NSYNC. Four, crunchy peanut butter is not only irrefutable proof of God's existence, but it also shows she loves us very much. And people who like smooth peanut butter hate the baby Jesus. <laughs> number five, which is the reason I'm here right now, and I'm speaking of the one remaining sterling truth no reasonable person can deny. Pluto is a motherfucking planet. <laughs> so what? A bunch of self-important professors got bored one day and decided to get back at all the cruel people who wouldn't date them in high school by knocking Pluto standing in the universe down to dwarf planet and renaming it 134340. And why? Because Pluto is all like all the other planets. Pluto is smaller than most moons. Pluto's got a bit of a strange orbit. Wah, fucking wah. But really, who in this room has never been considered an oddball, an outcast, special? Let him that hath never been considered a dweeb cast the first meteoroid. <laughs> Pluto is like the chubby goth girl lurking at the edge of the solar system and staring longingly at the cosmic dance floor filled with all the popular planets. Ooh, look at me, I'm Saturn. Look at my freaking rings. Ooh, look at me, I'm Jupiter. I'm so deep. Look at my third eye. <laughs> All these planetary John Lennons and Paul McCartney's vying for celestial attention while poor Ringo gets pushed to the back of the universal stage. And let me tell you, without Ringo, the Beatles would have amounted to nothing. Whoa. Ringo put the beat into the Beatles, and without him, they would have just been the Beatles. <laughs> without chubby goth girls, gay high school boys would never have bosoms to cry upon. I never would have had bosoms to cry upon. Pluto is the symbol for every kid who's never fit in. We need Pluto as proof that no matter how small you are, how separated from mainstream society, how abnormal, how freaking weird you are, you too can be someone worth looking up to. You too can be a planet. I don't care what they say. I don't give a good goddamn about any so-called science. Forget science. This is beyond science. This is about belief. And I believe that Pluto was a planet long before these bitter eggheads were mewling and puking on their mother's knees. And when they're all dead and buried along with their hoity-toity ideas and the universe has forgotten their blink of existence, Pluto will still be out there, Sophia. Watching over this tiny, blue, gay planet from afar, like the chubby goth girl best friend it always was. Call Pluto what you will, but remember this, a rose by any other name is still a freaking planet. <laughs>